everybody, welcome to the channel. This time I'm working on something totally different of my go-karts. So I'm gonna try to make a mini chopper. So I got this wonderful, beautiful tire online for a really good price. And, and that was the first thing that came out to my head. So I just cut these two parts that they're gonna be attached to the tire. So my, my plan is to put a uh, uh, shocks maybe one on each side to the seat or maybe only one supporting the seat so so this time i'm gonna bend these two pipes so stay tuned all right guys this is how my friend is looking right now i still have long ways to go but i think it's looking sweet all right more progress Okay, new update, check it out. So the front tire, I'm gonna get a bigger one. So that one is just the one I used to have for the pocket bike. I just put it to, for the motorcycle to stand, but I'm gonna get a, maybe a few inches bigger than the one in the back. So I think it will look sweet. So now I have to wait for the, I ordered the plate for the engine, so, I'm I'm not gonna put any more pipes right now because I want to put the engine, and then I want to put the pipes around the engine so it protect the engine and make it stronger. But I think it's gonna look very sweet. thinking I love the way that back tire looks is fat and I like that. that that was the the original idea I, I have because the tire was nice and big so I think in front I'm gonna get a bigger tire so it you know because that one is bigger than that one and I would love for this one to be bigger so I'm gonna find another tire for the front so it might can go a little bit higher in, might look better, so.
plate for the engine. I'm gonna put a 212 on the bait in between a 212 and a 79. Uh, I need to think about it. I, I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough for a 212, but I just, I'm not gonna make the decision right now. And when I have to decide about what engine I'm gonna use, I'm going to start to uh, to uh, reinforce the frame. In this case, if the base is right here, I already have this two part right here. I'm just gonna make my my bands going down to the plate to support the engine. For now, I just can keep doing small details like finish my my fork and see how, how it's gonna work. I'm so happy the way it's looking right now. The, I think it's gonna turn out pretty sweet. Okay, everyone. I have to change my plans and you, I'm gonna use a 79cc engine because the 212 I think is too big. It's too powerful for a small motorcycle. So I think I'm gonna go for the 79. And um, the other thing is the sprocket, it has to be on this side because look, it does that. If I switch it around, it's not gonna move. So it goes this way. So, but I already have a plan for that. I'm gonna put an axle right here and I'm gonna put one sprocket right here, the other one on this side. So it's gonna go straight to the clutch and uh, that's the way we're gonna do it. But I think it's gonna work, so stay tuned. And let me show you how the engine looks in the space so you can imagine how it's gonna look when it's ready with all the stuff I have to put. So the plate is gonna be right there. I already have it, you know, mark it. It's what I'm gonna weld it, but I have to wait for the tag. So I can present the engine. This is how the engine is going to be sitting on the motorcycle. So it's going to be right there. So, so like I say, I'm going to put the axle right here to the sprocket and then the other sprocket going to the clutch on this side. And I already got my gas tank, so it's gonna be right here. You know, I'm gonna have this straight to the engine. I think it's gonna look nice. So when I got the engine mounted, I'm gonna use these ones to support the plate, make a box under so make it very strong, and then put some support. And I already ordered the seat too, so I got everything from the way. I just waiting for it and. I think it's gonna be a really fun project to drive around. So 